welcome again to our series on game plaza today how to place your product on game plaza for people to buy okay i assume that you have an account so you click on login after you click on on your login then then it brings you to a, this place where you choose with which parameter you want to log in. Now I choose login with Gmail account. Type your Gmail. Click next. Put in your password, click next, then you are logging. The next thing for you to do is to go to the first bar at the top where there is post new item. Click on it to post new item. Then it brings you to this page and you tell us what is the title of your item yes you give us the title of your item then from which location are you doing it for now i'm doing it from eswatini and precisely from Magazine. Okay, then I will still need to choose what is the category of this item. Okay, it falls within fashion and beauty. I choose it. And which subcategories is cloak, clothing, and shoes. Okay, so I choose clothing and shoes. Okay, then I will have to decide. Do I want people to bid for it? If I want people to bid for it, then I will give it a starting price. That is where we have this start price. Okay, this start price. That means I want people to bid to it. Or I want to sell just to sell it. I want people to just buy now. That is the two options that those are the two options that I have here. So it's it's now left to me to say, okay, no, I am selling. So only buy now option. Okay. At what price? I want to sell it. Do it. I want to sell it for $51. But I allow people, I will take this option to allow people to offer me. That means people can buy it lesser than $51. Okay, how many do I have? For now, I have just 10. And will it include, will it require shipping? At this stage, I don't want it to require shipping. I will organize how. I don't want to charge extra money for shipping. I will only organize how people will get the, the materials. Okay, so this auto renew, it means any product posted will be allowed to stay online for 30 days but if i pick this auto renew that means if the item is not sold within 30 days automatically it will represent itself for the next time so if i choose auto renew that means it will be there more than 30 days until somebody buys it therefore the auction i don't need to choose the ending date for it I may even choose two, it may, be less, it may be more than 30, but I don't want it to be more than maybe 40. So I will count the number of the bit and I will choose. But for this period, I don't want to choose any date. I don't want it to end. I want it to be there perpetually until somebody buys it. Also, this private bid, do I allow people to come behind 
to talk to me or meet no i can choose no and we advise that you leave it for no because if you allow people to circumvent the security we put there it may be at your own risk now the next thing is for me to put down my address okay i am at flat number five who Mola Street or Fumula Township. So here you need to put your own address depending on from where you are doing it. Now also we need some description about your product. For example, this is main portfolio. Yeah, in my description. I am selling Perry Ellis Light Brown Men Portfolio. Okay. The next thing is for me to choose whether I want it to be on future function. If I choose this one, that means it will be on special uh, posting. Okay. So after that, if I choose this one, then the next thing is what do I want to tag? Okay. I can tag main things. Or for men or I can even tag men all right so then I will have to go to the next step okay yes I mean the next step the next step is to add photos I should have photos of the items preferably, preferably at least one or five photos of the item now when you click on it you take it back to your computer then you must have the you must know the location of your photo or pictures of the items you want to sell here i have it in my folder this is it and i choose it okay okay if you automatically screen it if the resolution is more than what is expected okay so I only want to choose one picture so if you want more you can still click on the rest of the icons all right so then you click next okay here we go so he said thank you for posting your item with us Thank you for posting your item. That means you have posted. So, what next for us to do? If you scroll down, you will see that here is your item. This is the amount. And as you said, you allow people to offer you. That is why this space is there. So, then, this is your name that is posting. Okay. And the description. This is the description. All right. So, if you have written your address, your address will be here, and everything will be as it ought to. So, the next thing for you to do is to do what? Finalize by doing what? Go click a finalize and publish item. But if you find out that there is anything that you need to adjust, then you go back. For in this case, we are not going back. We will just need to finalize and publish all right okay so the deed is done he said thank you for posting the item with us your item is already there if you want to see your item what do you do click on this one you will find out that your item also is included okay so this is how your item will on J Plaza. All right. Another good thing about this platform is this: if you discover that you need to edit, there is this option for you to edit your auction. Maybe you want to add more pictures. Maybe you want to. There is change in price. Maybe there is change in quantity of the items. You can easily click on Edit and edit your product. All right. So if you are done the next thing for you to do is to make sure you log out 
okay if you log out see this is your item Perry Ellis main item is now on at what it you posted from Ezra Tini Manzini and at $51 per one all right thank you for listening and I hope to meet you again in our next video bye for now